up everyone, Sean here. Today's video is going to be the LT1 reverse flow cooling system. Let's jump into it. So what is the reverse flow cooling system? Well, it's commonly on the LT1. That's the only thing I know of that comes with the reverse flow cooling system. And the biggest difference in the reverse flow cooling system of the LT1 is it cools the, the coolant runs through the cylinder heads first before the block. Unlike most, most um, car cooling systems, the coolant runs through the block first and then up to the cylinder heads. And you may ask yourself, why is that? Well, the theory behind it was with running, keeping your, your heads cooler, you can um, bump up your compression ratio. The Z28 Camaro like mine has 10.4 to one compression stock. Um, you know, it's supposed to help you with um, detonation so you don't, you run the, the risk of less chance of detonation. It's not a bad system, but the biggest problem is air bubbles. A lot of people have air bubbles, or get air bubbles, especially when they go to re <coughs> reflush their coolant out. There's two screws, bleeder screws, one here and one back, right back in here that you can open up to bleed it out if you're having that problem. Um, other than that, it's pretty simple. Obviously it wasn't that good of a design, or GM would have kept it going, or other people would have followed pursuit but with only a few years with the reverse flow cooling system it wasn't really catching on that's why they stopped it too many problems it's a good idea but just wasn't right so that's the LT1 reverse flow cooling system thanks for watching hit that subscribe button till next time peace